Got a date with destiny. My heart says yeah, but can't convince the rest of me. What's going on YouTube? Back with another workout. Uh, today we have chest and tries, and we're gonna start off with a little pre-exhaustion. So this is a pec fly machine, but if you notice, instead of grabbing it here, I'm actually grabbing the handles, keeping my elbows out and flying regularly. So the reason that I don't keep in line with the machine is it puts a lot of strain on my rotator cuff and it feels really uncomfortable. But if you come and you grab it here and you keep your elbows out, it feels a lot better. So we're gonna do four or five sets of 12 to 15. Just a little pre-exhaustion um, before we do flat bench. And the reason I wanna do that is I wanna make my compound movements harder so that when I'm fresh, they're a lot easier to do. dips if you want to go slow and controlled on the way down and explode on the way up movement for chest is gonna be dumbbell chest flies. Oh my god, you already did flies. Yeah, I know. But the first flies were on a machine, and these are free weights, so there's benefits from machines and there's benefits from free weights. Uh, free weights, you use your stabilizers, and I like free weights a lot better than machines, but machines are also really good for isolation, and they're good for beginners, and they're also good for if, you're injured, kind of for a little bit of rehab, you can go lighter, and it, it's not as taxing on your body or demanding. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do uh, dumbbell flies, superset with skull crushers. You want to bring this part of your arm, your humerus, and bring it back. And the only thing you're moving is your forearm. So you go down, squeeze, down, squeeze, squeeze. I want a hard copy. You want to come down, touch the back of the bench, and then from here, twist at the top. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, man, let's go. At least eight of these. At least eight. So you hit my hand, you come back. All right, quick tip for you guys. Uh, the reason that I'm supersetting chest flies with uh, skull crushers is because time crunch. So if you're on a time crunch, a good way to get in all your work that you have to and a good way to get in a uh, good amount of volume is super setting, tri setting, quad setting. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically just doing one exercise right after the other with no rest. So with this, I have like 10 minutes left. So I'm gonna do my last two sets here and then I'm gonna go do a super set of tries and then be done. Alright guys, another thing is when you come down and you twist at the top, that ensures that you're squeezing and flexing your tricep. So down, squeeze, down, squeeze. Now a good thing to do is, say you're aiming for 10 and you, you can't do anymore, you come here and you just do close grip. So here, close grip. Close grip, close grip, close grip. And that could be considered a tricep because you're going from chest flies to skull crushers to close grip. So it's a really good way to pump a lot of blood into the volume. If you're, if you're on a time crunch once again, but also if you want a different variable and you want to switch it up. <laughs> All right, last step. Another thing you want to focus on when you're doing uh, dumbbell flies is a lot of people tend to bend their elbows a lot and then do this. So you go here and you go here. You're not stretching your chest or working your chest at all, guys. So you want to you want to have a, a slight bend in your elbow, but you want to keep it throughout the whole range of motion. So here, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, and you really want to control the negative part of the movement. Because if you tend to start slamming weight and dropping it and jerking it and all that stuff, you're going to hurt yourself. So always control the weight, especially when you're doing, um, or especially when you're using free weights, because you don't want to hurt yourself. <laughs> Superset of the night. We're gonna do uh, rope extension. Superset with single arm extension.
doing unilateral movements, always start with your weak side. The reason being is you want your weak side to be able to catch up to your strong side. So you're always gonna be able to do less reps with your weaker side. So if you're doing six with your weak side, but you can bust out 10, your weaker side is never gonna catch up and you're never gonna be proportional. So, quick little tip for you guys. I only got six on those and they look like crap, but this side feels like cake. <laughs> Wrapped up this workout, guys. Uh, it was really good workout today. One thing that, uh, or a couple things I'm focusing on uh, during my cut and getting back into volume training is my rest time in between sets. So I'm resting about 30 to 45 seconds in between each set. Uh, another thing I'm focusing on is obviously volume. So I've been doing sets of 10 for the past two weeks. And then this week I'm doing sets of eight to 10. So still keeping the volume pretty high, doing four sets. Um, trying to get volume back into it guys, because when I was training for my meet, as the weeks went on, my volume decreased like crazy. So trying to get back into it, trying to get the muscle Firing again because it's hard going from you know training threes twos singles Maybe five at the most and then going jumping back into it and going um, Like set to 10 set to 12 stuff like that, but it's going really well so You guys saw the whole workout, but a little recap on what happened on bench So I was gonna do four sets of 10 with 205 but uh, Genaro wanted to do like a little bench off or whatever so he hit 225 and he got five reps and then he told me to do it. So I went at 225 and I got seven, I believe. So just like a little fun thing, guys. And off season training should be a lot funner than prep. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that you see me training with different people. You see me training at different gyms. You see me having a lot more fun during the off season. Because it's good to go to different places so you don't get bored of the same scenery, the same people. And it's good to train with different people because you get driven um, by different people. You use other people's energy and you kind of bounce off of each other. And um, you get great workouts like that. And also, different people train, have different training styles. So it's good to experience other people's training styles as well. Because you get a mix of everything in there. So that's fun. Um, but I'm gonna go on a little rant and talk to you guys about people that say they don't have enough time to train. So, like I was talking about in there, you can do a lot in a short amount of time. So, if you're on a time crunch, say you have 45 minutes, a great way to train that way is, in those 45 minutes, is doing supersets, doing um, you know giant sets. Giant sets is four exercises in a row. Uh, even triple sets, doing three exercises in a row. Just finding a way to get all the work that you need to get done in that short amount of time. So a lot of people tend to make up excuses and they want to say that they don't have enough time. They want to say that they can't do this, they can't do that. But in reality, guys, there's more than enough time. So all of us get the same 24 hours. It's just the way you use it. So if you're a busy person, you work a lot and you have an hour lunch, Theoretically, you could go get a 30 minute workout. You could go get, you know, a 15 minute workout. I've been applying to fitness and they have a 15 minute express station. So just doing what you have to do to get your workout done. And you know, everybody says, oh, Planet Fitness sucks. Planet Fitness is stupid. Now, I agree, <laughs> but I definitely think that it's a good starting gym. I think it's great for people that are on a budget. I think it's great for people that um, are on a time crunch as well. 
So like I talked about, and, and I don't say that in a negative way, guys. I don't knock anybody's hustle. I don't knock anybody's grind. I think it's great that people are in the gym, um, you know, and I respect anybody that does something to better themselves. I think that's fantastic. I think it's beneficial to everybody. So don't take that the wrong way. I don't say it negatively. I don't say that, oh, Planet Fitness is stupid. I've trained there before. That's where I started training. So, you know, I'm not knocking you if you go there or whatever. I don't take anything away from you if you train there either. But um, I'm just saying they have a 15 minute express workout station. So theoretically, you can go get a 15 minute workout in. Um, there's hit cardio. Hit cardio tends to last 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, it's high intensity training. So instead of steady state training, that's a lot more beneficial to you guys. There's, um, you know, just coming into the gym, doing a quick 30 minute pump, getting a quick 45 minute workout in. You don't need massive amounts of time to do what you have to do, guys. So if you really want to change your life, if you really want to make an improvement to your life, it's definitely doable and it's definitely something that you shouldn't make excuses for because at the end of the day it's only benefiting you it's benefiting your health and in the long run that's going to help you and those around you and i say it's going to help those around you because if you're healthier then theoretically you're going to live longer you know so if you live longer you get to spend time uh, a lot more time with those around you so that's why i say that it benefits you and those around you as well but just don't make excuses for what you have to do. Get into the gym, do what you have to do. And obviously some days are gonna be a lot more pressed on time than others. And that's fine, you don't always have to get a you know, two hour workout, you don't always have to get a 60 minute workout. Just going in, no workout is ever wasted. Um, and I think once you guys, if you're just getting started, I think once you learn that and you apply that, I think you're gonna do great things. So that's my little rant. Don't make excuses. Get in the gym, go outside. That's another thing too. You don't need a gym to get a good workout. Uh, like I talked about HIIT training. So HIIT training is high intensity. You can go do run stairs, you can run sprints, you can uh, you know, do boxing training, you can hit the bag, you can do all kinds of different things So that don't require weights or barbells or any of that. So once again, guys, don't make excuses. Um, get outside, get to the gym, do what you have to do, and do it for yourself. So make that change in your life if you want to be healthier. Follow through with it and stay consistent. But hopefully you guys learn something from there, from this workout, and you guys can apply it to your own training. Um, and yeah, guys, that's about it. So as always, thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe, comment, like, do all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.